out one of my biggest pet peeves is a silent room. And my goal today is to blow the other panel out of the water. I want them to wonder what's going on in this room. And you guys got Uh, uh, producing right on the fly in front of you guys. So, um, I've been in all the Yu-Gi-Ohs and Ninja Turtles and G.I. Joe and lots of other sort of superhero related stuff and a few brand new shows coming up uh, next year, which I can't talk about yet, but keep Google me and look at my I think I came up with like I promise I didn't. That's right, yeah, just Google me. I don't have time to do that. I'm not too cool. I just didn't want to repeat myself. Listen, I'm Tim Boswell. I was here at one. I don't know about you guys. I'm sorry. Just kidding. We'll be adding credits to your Wikipedia page for an audio books on Nazis and physics, which is just as boring together or separately. And uh, stuff like this. And I'm sitting here and I'm going to read some stuff. I guess. Here, you can fill this Go easy on me, Johnny, okay? Billy, you're my favorite. Today, go easy on me, though. Because if you push me, I'll snap. <laughs> <laughs> I was up too late last night. I had no business of being awake at midnight. I just don't. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I've been very... Uh, it should be fun. Actually, a lot of these old-timey radio scripts, um, like public. In the terrific battle which takes place between Emperor Ming's space fleet and the gyros of the Lion Men, the attacking gyros are driven off. The rocket ship in which Flash Gordon had been held captive is destroyed, and Flash is thrown to the ground unconscious. He opens his eyes to find himself staring into the great bearded face of Thun, Prince of the Lion Men. Thun gets his great sword fall as he sees Flash Gordon's white skin. Uh, who art thou, white skinned youth? Speak, answer me before I cleave thy white body in pieces. Art thou a new kind of soldier of Ming the Merciless? I am the sworn enemy of that fiend Emperor Ming of Mongo. He has captured a girl who is from Earth, like myself. A girl from Earth. I am only to her. <laughs> an Earth man, thou sayest. Yes. And an enemy of Ming the Merciless. Oh, that's right. Tell me, are you friend or uh, enemy? I am Thun, Prince of the Lion Men, hereditary enemies of the men of Mongo. If thou would accept me as thy friend. Really, around the world with all four of us. Um, so we had, you know, two of us. Or I guess all six of us were split into three groups of two, and we were all in different time zones for about two weeks uh, this past two weeks. Where were you in the line? Uh, I was in Oliver. Central in oh. Auburn. Uh, the, my sister and my mom were in California and L.A. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. I direct the, like, Pokemon, so I see enough of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, my children, you know, they'll watch it, so, you know, but I, because I direct so much stuff in addition to that, Whenever that stuff's on TV, it drives me insane because all these people are in my house now that I work with, you know what I mean? And I'm like, Jesus Christ, just go, my colleague, go away for 10 minutes of my life. Voices you know? in your head. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, sometimes. I mean, you know, when I was in G.I. Joe, I used to like make my kids. I'd be like, come here, come here, listen to dad. I'd be like, oh, that's really good. You know, but, yeah. So, you watch it. It depends on if I can find the show, because there's some weird, obscure, foreign language dub that I end up being in. I don't know <laughs> where it airs, why it airs, why it was dubbed in the first place. We got the one in, um, in the UK now, though. Yes, that's true. What's it called? The Super 4. Super 4. Uh, the Playmobil characters have, have a video tie-in now, and Tom and I are various characters. I'm a king and a sort of stereotypical pirates. <coughs> not proud of it. It's not proud of it. <laughs> it's funny, that shows really um, nobody will believe this, but there's a few episodes of Futurama I never saw. On purpose? No, I was just really busy. Which one? You gotta have a social life. <laughs> We're gonna talk about it, so Marvel panel ever. Marvel, 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 Marvel as a, Marvel as a, it's a shield in there. And uh, yesterday I was wearing my, my shirt for the Netflix Daredevil show. Like, that's gonna be super awesome. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't even know who this, I, I don't know the alias character. Oh my god, what are you 
what you're always telling me about. <laughs> yeah, Luke Cage's girlfriend. Why? Please. So tell me about it. Tell us about it. Oh my god. It was, well, that was what uh, I, I was I kind of taken a break from comics, but Alias, someone said, oh, this book is really good. This guy Bendis. And I was like, all right, yeah, sure. And I can head since over here, and the principal sit over there, and the crew's usually over there. And there's a little bit of interplay, but it would never go so far as a background to sit next to a producer. Right. So um, I think that that sort of <coughs> ensemble feeling um, and attention to, you know, even from the things that most people don't even think that much about, the background players.